Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, hello, my name is Carly. And I wanna let you know that I'm not like most YouTubers. I'm not like most moms, okay? I'm a cool mom. Normal YouTubers will let you in on the secret that they get dressed up to film their videos from the waist up, but from the waist down, they're actually wearing pajamas. Not me, my friend. Not me. I'm wearing full pajamas today. Just trying to keep real today. The real reason I'm wearing full pajamas is that I'm still not feeling the greatest. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, you know that I was sick over the weekend. Yes, thank you so much for all your sweet messages. It really meant a lot to me. I didn't know I post new videos every single Thursday and I didn't want to miss Thursday. So that's why today I'm going to be filming kind of a Q&A update video so we can keep it chill but still hang out with you guys. I'm gonna be real thirsty right now and ask you guys to hit that thumbs up button for me for getting out of bed and still filming for this Thursday. Times are hard. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you. We set the date for 10 7 17. I really like the date. I think it sounds super cute. I like it because we actually started dating on a 7, like of a month we started dating on the 7th. The biggest factor for me in picking the venue was the dates they had available. Most Chicago venues get booked up a year, a year and a half out, and since we knew that we didn't want to wait another year to get the date that we wanted, we kind of just went with the date that we liked the best, and that's the venue we picked. Some of the venues I really loved didn't have availabilities till after Thanksgiving, and I really didn't like the idea of doing a wedding when it was dark outside and potentially freezing and snowing, so that's kind of how we came to the decision. So I actually found these shoes that I'm going to wear on my wedding day. I'm so excited about it and I thought I would show these to you guys today. So Cody, if you're watching this, turn this off right now. Well, I mean, I guess you can watch it if you want to. It really doesn't matter. These are Renee Calvilla and I know I'm saying it right because my sister and I looked it up on Google. We were literally having her play. I was like, Renee Calvilla. So I know that I'm doing it correctly. I decided to go with a sandal for the wedding because I'm going to be wearing these shoes for 12 plus hours, I wanna be comfortable. And for sandals, I feel like these were special enough to wear for a wedding because they've got the silver heel and the Swarovski crystal. It's not like I'm wearing flip-flops. I found these on Bergdorf Goodman and Renee Calvilla is pretty expensive for shoes, but they were actually, I wanna say around 30% off on the website. And I used Ebates and I got cash back on them. They have 4% cash back on Bergdorf Goodman. So when you're already spending a lot of money, 4% cash back, is a big deal. I've talked about Ebates before in my video, how I saved thousands of dollars and a lot of my money saving kind of videos. So especially during my wedding planning, I've been using Ebates because it is a way for me to get cash back on the things I'm already purchasing. If you haven't seen my past videos where I mentioned Ebates, it is a free website that partners with all the retailers that you probably already shop at to give you cash back on your purchases. And it also partners with them to give you discounts and deals. They also run double cash back promotions. So like this upcoming, Memorial Day weekend. They have double cash back going on at some retailers. It's completely free and it's super easy to use. I've been using it for over the last year for any time I shop online to get money back from those purchases. If you've thought about trying Ebates, if you're interested, I will leave a link down below in the description box where you can sign up. And the first time you ever purchase something through Ebates that's over $25, they actually give you a $10 gift card just for trying it out and making your first purchase with them. So you can get like a gift card for $10 on a purchase that you'd already be making. So I already asked the girls to be my bridesmaids and the way I did it was by making kind of like a bridesmaids essentials box. So I sent them a gift box of all the things that were like getting ready essentials and I had a card inside the box and it said, will you help me get ready for the big day? Some of them things that were like wedding theme but also things that they could use in their everyday life. So I sent them like a Starbucks gift card, a neutral nail polish, and I sent them like a lipstick that all had like cute wedding theme names. Like one of them was like piece of cake in colors that I thought each girl would like. It was kind of fit to their personalities. When I found the dress that I thought I wanted to be the bridesmaid's dress, I first ordered it to my apartment so I could try it on and see if I liked it in person, see if I liked the fabric, see if I liked the fit. And then from there, I could tell the girls to order the dress. So I set a limit while I was looking for the bridesmaid's dresses of $200. I wouldn't look at anything above that because I didn't want this to be like a crazy expense for my bridesmaids because a lot of them do have to travel in for the wedding. The exact vision of what I wanted for my bridesmaids, I basically found. So I was really excited because it was under $200. It was available in every size and also it could be bought using Ebates so all the girls could get cash back and save a little bit of money. I've also finished Save the Dates and I thought I would show you guys this too. Wow, it's basically who you're like wedding planning with me slash it's like you're coming to my wedding. You would not believe how difficult it is 
to design like a minimalist looking wedding invitation. There's just like crap everywhere, like polka dots, explosions of text. Like, no, I just want it to be chill. I designed these using minted.com and I went with that website just because purely I like the design the best on that website. I don't have the actual invitation to show you yet because it's being printed and shipped to us. Minted was running a deal that if you created your wedding website through them, they would give you $50 off of your order as well. So I was able to get $50 off of ordering my save the dates as well as cash back through Ebates on that purchase. So I was able to save some money while ordering the invitations that I wanted. Okay guys, that was my wedding planning update and Q and A. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know. Also don't forget to sign up for Ebates if you haven't already. I will have the link below down in my description box. So you can start saving money and getting cash back for purchases you'd already make online. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I post new videos every single Thursday. See you guys next week. Bye.